Roosevelt Skerritt was re-elected as Prime Minister of Dominica for six consecutive term in an election where over 81,000 people were eligible to vote. The main opposition parties, the United Workers Party and the Dominica Freedom Party, boycotted the elections. They refused to nominate any candidates following the announcement in November. The UWP cites that the lack of a clean voters list reflecting the actual number of people who can legally vote and the lack of national ID cards available to legitimate voters are the main positions upon which they have mounted their boycott. Grenada's Prime Minister, Honorable Dickon Mitchell, commended the people and institutions of the Commonwealth of Dominica for taking part in the democratic process and the civility with which the election were conducted. He said, and I quote, the election of the Skerritt administration by the people of the Commonwealth of Dominica to an unprecedented six term is a resounding vote of confidence and indicates the people's desire for continuity, especially against the backdrop of an increasingly uncertain global environment. Prime Minister Mitchell said the government of Grenada looks forward to building the strong relationship of brotherhood that exists between the two nations and to, and to furthering efforts towards the fulfillment of mutual regional integration ambition. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.